everybody. Welcome back to another review. This time, testing out the new 9200D carbon paddle from Graham Kayak. First off, it's beautiful. Awesome looking carbon weave on this. Super thin uh, edges, but it also has a little bit more volume coming down the blade, which I think is really interesting. I'm curious to see how this will feel in the water. Feels really nice in the hand and a soft shoulder, really comfortable to grip. Now, this paddle has this nice oval loom and this hexagonal ferrule in the middle, so they lock together really nicely. Really nice feel to it. It does have that raised button, but it's nice and solid. Loom's a nice, the loom's a bit wider than some other paddles I've used, so it feels like it'll be a nice touring grip. Nice oval. Yeah, now you can see how, just how thin these edges are. They're not super sharp, which makes it pretty nice to hold on to. But I bet it'll feel really nice in the water. It'll catch really cleanly. So this paddle maintains quite a bit of volume quite a ways down the blade. And most paddles, in my experience, when they have that, it'll catch really heavily in the water. And also you can see this blade width stays quite wide for a long way down before it starts to taper. So uh, this blade, I think, will probably feel really nice on a good forward stroke good and powerful and uh, from what I was hearing that this blade is uh, just really nice to tour with nice round edge now something interesting about this paddle is it's actually a hollow core it's not a, uh, a foam core so this thing is incredibly lightweight because it's hollow it actually vibrates a little bit so I bet in the water we'll really be able to tell if we have any aeration or uh, bubbles behind our paddle as we do our strokes. Nice edges. I like the blue logo, it really pops, looks great. Yeah, it feels so nice in the hand. Really, really pleasant. I really like these soft shoulders. It makes it so comfortable to paddle with all day. So this is a 220 centimeter paddle, so it's about the same size as other ones I've reviewed. Um, and I, for me, it might feel a little short for touring. Uh, but it, uh, the other things I'm feeling about this paddle I think will make up for it really nicely. And of course, the carbon, this paddle is incredibly stiff and super, super light. But then also, because it is so thin on these edges, uh, I bet this paddle will skull and slice through the water, just like we'd expect from a carbon paddle. Pretty much every carbon paddle nowadays is two-piece, like this. So it makes it really easy to uh, throw in the back of your car, or on the deck of a kayak as a spare. Um, and something that Graham Kayaks does is they also make three-piece versions of a lot of their paddles. So there's not a three-piece version available yet for the 9200D, um, but I would not be surprised if down the road there will be. So with the three-piece paddles, they split the sections kind of in the blades into the loom, and that lets it fit into a standard check bag. So the three-piece version of these paddles can uh, work really great for travel because you can just throw them in an airplane, whereas the normal two pieces are actually too long uh, for most luggage and they might be classified as oversized. I think I've talked enough about this paddle. The real test, as always, is in the water. So, let's find some. So I've been paddling up river for a few minutes now, and this paddle is very reactive and very planted in the water. Forward stroke, super powerful, feels really good. But a comfortable touring paddle, and because it's hollow, uh, it's very talkative. So if you put too much air behind the paddle, I can hear it resonating through the paddle, so it's telling me when, when it, uh, it's as efficient as it could be.
Yeah, this place is super slice. Really nice. Nice transition to the water. Nice and fast. Super stiff. Yeah, feels good. Really powerful. That's the thing I think stands up on the ground. Planted in the water. So, back, all cleaned up from the river, and I really like this paddle. It's, it just feels really nice in the hands, it's really comfortable, uh, it's really, it feels really powerful. I think there's just a little bit of uh, witchcraft geometry going on here with this wider blade that's more slowly tapers, and then the, the bigger volume out in the blade is, itself. Um, just, yeah, it was really nice in the water. Still super slicey, super stiff. Uh, it felt to me more of a touring paddle um, than other carbon paddles I've used before. Uh, just, yeah, it was just really nice to work with. And something I noticed with this that if you're a Greenland paddler, you'll probably know about how if you, you know, get some air swirls of uh, whirlpools behind your paddle, you can hear it. And the, the vibrations will telegraph through the, through the paddle. This one, because of the hollow body and it's so lightweight, seems to do that really like to the next level and and with that it was forcing me to hone my technique faster and it felt I think partly because of that and new paddle and just something about it it took me a little longer to kind of get the feel of this paddle because I had to use it I had to paddle it differently than uh, my other paddles but once I got it this thing just felt so good to use really enjoyed it uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, using it a lot more in the future. Great paddle. Uh, and along with the paddle, Graham also sent me some dry bags to test out. Nice, nice material. Got the window in it so you can see what's going on. And also, really handy little feature, the valve. So you can squeeze air out of it once it's sealed up. So it, you can almost like vacuum seal things. But yeah, good size to get into like a day hatch. Also a bit bigger size. This one is carrying some of my camera gear. Same thing, uh, valve, window, uh, and a single day test of a dry bag is, you know, really kind of useless, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, the big thing with dry bags is the resiliency. How long will they last getting dragged in and out of a uh, hatch constantly, getting dropped in the sand, you know, carried and carried around camp and everything. Um, so I'm going to keep using these this summer and uh, see how well they withstand me. <laughs> but yeah, Graham Kayak 9200D paddle. It's a win. It's a really nice paddle. Looking forward to spending more time on the water with it. Thanks for watching everybody. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And in the comments below, if there's anything you want me to test out, let me know. And uh, I'd love to keep doing review videos. They're a lot of fun. All the links for all these things, the paddle, the dry bags, um, there are other Graham Kayak, other line of stuff, will be in the uh, description below. Safe paddling! Test, test, how does it look? Test, test.